Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 9.3.5 or 9.3.6 without a computer. So as you can see right here, I have an iPod Touch 5th generation in blue. And this iPod Touch is running iOS 9.3.5. This jailbreak only works with 32-bit i device that has an A5 or an A6 chip. Here are the lists that are supported. So what you need to do is go to Safari. And then what you need to type is jailbreaks.app/legacy.html And... There we go. I need to hit install Phoenix 9.3.5 to 9.3.6. And there we go. It shows a pop-up. Jailbreaks.app would like to install Phoenix. Hit install. And then go to home screen. And then it should be right here. And as you can see, it's downloading. So I'm going to wait for a few seconds. So it's done installing the app. If you open the app, it shows untrusted enterprise developer. So what you need to do is go to settings, general, and go to device management. Hit this, trust, trust, and there we go. The app should open, which you can see it actually works. So what you need to do next, which is hit prepare for jailbreak. And you know, you can read all the terms and conditions if you want to. Hit accept. And you can see it shows free mixtape available, dismiss, and you can see right here. So there's this text that says proceed with jailbreak, so hit that. And begin installation so you can see right there it's preparing jailbreak and here are the offset that it found so I would recommend hit use provided offsets so you can see right here it's jailbreaking and you can see it shows this pop-up you just hit done just ignore it and it's gonna restart there we go so select to unlock and there you go, you got Cydia right here. And here you go, this is Cydia. I would recommend update the Cydia stuff, cause you know, make sure you're up to date. And this will show up. And wait for this thing to stop showing. So you just wait and then hit that thing right there. So does this pop up that show to essential upgrade? I would say just hit complete upgrade. And then, you know, confirm. And it's downloading all this stuff. As you can see, it crashed, so just open it again. And hit refresh. And there you go. You're pretty much up to date, so you hit reload and there. Also, I'm gonna show you this extra thing since. Phoenix jailbreak is semi-tethered. Here's what you need to do if your device got restart. Or you reboot or if you just power it on. Okay, my iPod just reboot. So if you restart your iDevice and you just open the app, it's not gonna work. So what you need to do is go to Phoenix again and hit kickstart jailbreak. And it's preparing for jailbreak. And hit use provided offset and it's doing its job. And there you go, it's still broken and now it's gonna restart by itself. Okay, there you go, it's just booked to iOS and we go to Cydia and there you go, it's working. There, it works. So yeah, I hope this video helps and thanks for watching and bye. Look at this iPod right here. I don't know, this blue just looks so good.